Hello, my name is Rob Melendez, and today I'll be showing you a cataract surgery. Just this is sort of a routine cataract surgery. Of course, you might be asking, what is a cataract? A cataract is where the lens in the eye is cloudy and results in uh, decrease in vision. And so as a result, we'll remove the cataract and replace it with a new lens. The first steps uh, that you saw me do there is essentially creating two openings inside the eye, so that way I can uh, place instruments in the eye to actually begin removing the cataract. And this next step is placement of a thick uh, gelatinous substance that's transparent. What this does, it essentially gives you some working space in the front of the eye to begin taking the uh, cataract out. In this next step, this is the uh, creation of the main uh, wound of the eye. And we do a temporal incision where the opening is created uh, to the uh, on the side portion of your eye closest to the ear. And once that's done, then the next step involves creating an opening um, in the front surface of the cataract, known as what's called a capsulotomy. Here I'm actually creating just a small uh, opening uh, of the uh, what's called the, the capsule. And your cataract is actually encased in a transparent uh, bag that we call the capsule capsular bag. In this next step, I'm actually um, tearing the anterior capsule in a circular fashion, creating an opening to the cataract. And as you'll see, I'm just sort of turning around uh, in circles here, creating a nice, uh, nearly perfect circle there. Um, now that that membrane's out, now we have direct access to the cataract. And if you would envision removing the inside uh, contents of perhaps a, good, a grape. Uh, but keeping the, the skin itself intact except for that round opening that we made. In this next step I'm injecting fluid to separate the lens from that bag um, or the outer skin of a grape. Next I'll go in with um, an instrument and actually create an opening or a separation rather uh, of the cataract uh, with my left hand there I'm actually stabilizing the eye and next I'm rotating the cataract just 90 degrees and actually creating uh, a separation of the cataract. It's a, now it's um, essentially uh, four parts of the cataract. Next I'll go in with an ultrasound device that we call phaco emulsification and this is connected to a foot pedal so I'm actually pushing down on a foot pedal here. What this is doing um, is there's fluid that's going uh, into the eye to keep it uh, maintained but as I'm depressing on the foot pedal it's allowing an increase of vacuum and also increasing the ultrasound that which is actually breaking up the the cataract and then the vacuum is essentially uh, slurping up the cataract if you will so two of those fragments or pieces of the pie if you will uh, were removed now that just the two remaining pieces uh, are present and the patient um, has received topical medication to control any pain and they do not have any pain during the, the procedure. I'm actually moving the eye around and the patient uh, does not have any pain uh, during this stage. So at this point, the entire cataract, or at least the bulk of it, is removed. And what's left is this fine membrane uh, closest to the bag called the cortex. And this is the last step uh, to be performed to remove the actual cortical material. And so I'm going in with another instrument to remove the cortex. You'll see some air bubbles in there that's of no consequence. So everything's going great. The patient is uh, very stable as well. So sometimes this is the most tedious step because you're trying to remove this really fine membrane from the actual capsule. In this next step, I'm placing some uh, more gelatinous material inside the bag itself because in the next step, I'm actually going to place the lens implant, also known as, as the intraocular lens or IOL. Oftentimes, the patients will feel just a slight amount of pressure. And this is the lens. It's actually coiled up into a small enough diameter to fit through this small incision 
of about 2.2 millimeters in width. There's a slight yellow hue to this particular lens. Other lenses will oftentimes be clear. So this lens, as you'll see, is unraveling, uh, if you will, or opening up. The arms of the lens are known as the haptics, and the central part of the lens, known as the magnifying portion of the lens, is known as the optic. So the lens is in there. Essentially what I'm doing is just I'm cleaning up, removing some of that gelatinous material, and positioning that lens. And this essentially completes the surgery. Um, all within about eight minutes. So thank you so much for watching and I uh, hope you enjoy your vision.